Hello students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Ammal Mahalingi Engineering College, Kovil Vidni. I am happy to meet you through the video lecture series on the subject hidden mass transfer. And uh, this session is lecture number 202 on the module convection heat transfer. The topic for today's discussion is fundamentals of convection problems. So, we will solve few problems on the basics of the uh, convection heat transfer, uh, what we discussed earlier in the previous lecture. So, from the previous lecture, uh, we recap what are the topics we discussed earlier. So, we defined the Reynolds number, Nusselt number, Prandtl number and uh, the significance of Reynolds number, Prandtl number in the uh, convection heat transfer and we classified the flow laminar flow and turbulent flow based on the Reynolds number. For external flow, Reynolds number is 5 into 10 power 5. When the value is 5 into 10 power less than uh, 5 into 10 power 5, the flow is laminar. Uh, when the value Reynolds number is more than, greater than 5 into 10 power 5, then it is turbulent flow. For internal flow, flow through the pipeline, when the Reynolds number is less than 2300, the flow is laminar. When the Reynolds number is more than 2300, the flow is turbulent. And we define the friction coefficient, drag, co drag force and the heat transfer coefficient. And here in this lecture, based on the knowledge of the previous lecture, we solve few problems on the basics of convection. The first example, calculate the distance from the leading edge of a flat plate at which the transition occurs from laminar to turbulent for the flow of air at 27 degrees Celsius with a velocity of 10 meters per second. Assume transition takes place at Reynolds number equal to 5 into 10 power 5. So, the given data, so the temperature of the air is given as 27 degrees Celsius and the free steam velocity is 10 meters per second and the critical Reynolds number is 5 into 10 power 5. So, from the HMT data book, page number 34, the kinematic viscosity of air at 27 degrees Celsius, the nu equal to 15.718 and 10 to 10 to 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. And the critical Reynolds number is ux divided by nu, which is given as 5 into 10 power 5. Uh, from this, we calculate the distance from the leading edge at which transition occurs. So, x is equal to 5 into 10 power 5 into the kinematic, kinematic viscosity 15.718 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 10 equal to 0 0.786 meter. So, the critical length that is the length at which the flow becomes turbulent or uh, the length at which uh, the flow remains laminar is the critical length which is equal to 0 0.786 meters. We take example number 2, atmospheric air at 30 degrees Celsius flows over a flat plate with a velocity of 20 meters per second. Determine whether the flow is laminar or turbulent at a distance 20 centimeter from the leading edge. So, the given parameter, temperature of the air is 30 degrees Celsius, the free steam velocity u infinity is 20 meters per second and the distance is 0.2 meter. So, from the heat and mass transfer data book, page number 34. The kinematic viscosity of air at 30 degrees Celsius is 16 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second and the Reynolds number is u infinity x divided by nu which is 20 into 0.2 divided by 16 into 10 power minus 6 which is 2.5 into 10 power 5. So, the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 power 5 so the flow is laminar. So, under this condition the flow remains laminar. And we take the example number 3, atmospheric air at 100 degrees Celsius flow with a velocity of 4 meters per second along your flat plate, 1 meter long, maintained at a uniform temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. The average heat transfer coefficient is 8 watts per meter square Kelvin. Using Colburn Reynolds analogy, estimate the drag force acting on the plate over the width of 2 meters. So, the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, free steam velocity is 4 meters per second, 
length of the plate is 1 meter, width of the plate is 2 meter and the surface temperature is 50 degrees Celsius and the heat transfer coefficient is 8 watts per meter square Kelvin. And the properties of air at a mean temperature Tw plus T infinity divided by 2 which is 100 plus 50 divided by 2, 75 degrees Celsius. So, the properties what we require density rho equal to 1.0145 kilograms per meter cube, Prandtl number equal to 0.693, thermal conductivity is 0 0.030065 watts per meter Kelvin and kinematic viscosity equal to 20.55104 minus 6 meter square per second. And the Reynolds number for the flow, Reynolds number equal to U infinity L divided by nu, which is 4 into 1 divided by 20.55 in 10 power minus 6, which is 1.9 into 10 power 5. So, the flow remains laminar. So, because the value is less than 5 into 10 power 5, the flow is laminar. The Nusselt number is HL by K, which is 8 into 1 divided by 0 0.03065 equal to 266. Then Stanton number. So, the equation you can refer to the heat and mass transfer data book. You can take the equation Stanton number equal to Nusselt number divided by Prandtl number into Reynolds number. So, which is 266 divided by 0.693 into 1.9 in 10 power 5 equal to 2.02 in 10 power minus 3. And the Colburn Reynolds analogy, heat and mass transfer data book, page number 114. Equation 1.3. So, you can refer to the data book and take the equation. So, this is standard number, Prandtl number to the power 0.67 equal to Cf divided by 2, where Cf is the frictional coefficient. So, the friction coefficient equal to 2 into uh, 0.2.02 standard number in 10 power minus 3 into 0.693 to the power 0.67 equal to 3.16 in 10 power minus 3. So, the friction coefficient is 3.16 in 10 power minus 3. And the drag force F equal to W L, this is area, W into L is the area, friction coefficient into rho U infinity square by 2. So, substituting W equal to 2, L equal to 1, C F equal to from the previous calculation 3.16 10 power minus 3, rho is 1.0145 and U is square equal to 4 square divided by 2 which is 0 0.05 Newton. So, the answer to the question, the drag force equal to 0 0.05 Newton. So, we take example number 4, atmospheric air at 100 degrees Celsius flow with a velocity of 6 meters per second along a flat plate 1 meter long maintained at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The drag force acting on the plate per meter width is 0 0.04 Newton determine average heat transfer coefficient using carbon reynolds analogy. So, the given data for the problem, the fluid temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, the free steam elastic of the fluid is 6 meters per second, length of the plate equal to 1 meter, width of the plate equal to 1 meter, surface temperature of the wall temperature is 60 degrees Celsius and the friction coefficient is, friction force is 0 0.04 Newton. So, properties we have to take from the mean temperature at the mean temperature which is Tw plus T infinity divided by 2 which is equal to 100 plus 60 divided by 2 equal to 8 degrees Celsius. The properties of air from the heat and mass transfer data book. Uh, rho equal to 1 kilogram per meter cube, Prandtl number equal to 0 0.692, thermal conductivity equal to 0 0.03047 watts per meter Kelvin and kinematic viscosity equal to 21.09 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. And the Reynolds number equal to U infinity into L divided by nu, substitute the values U infinity equal to 6, length equal to 1 and nu equal to 21.09 10 power minus 6. So, using the calculator, we find Reynolds number equal to 2.84 into 10 power 5. The flow is laminar here because the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 power 5. And the mean drag coefficient, so Cf equal to 2F divided by WL into rho u infinity square. So, this, this equation is also available in the Gitter Mass Transfer Data Book. Or from the previous calculation, uh, previous problem. We find the C f equal to 2 f divided by W L into rho infinity square and substituting 2 into f equal to 0 0.04 divided by W equal to 1, 1 L equal to 1, rho equal to 1 and uh, U equal to 6, 6 meters per second. So, 6 square equal to C of 2.22 in 10 power minus 3. So, the drag coefficient is 2.22 in 10 power minus 3. 
and they are using the Kalban Reynolds analogy from the Hitler Mass Transit Data Book. Page number 114, equation 1.3, standard number Prandtl number equal to CF by 2 and the substituting standard number equal to CF divided by 2 into Prandtl number to the power 0.67, which is calculating, which is 1.42 into 10 power minus 3. So, you calculate, substitute the values from the previous data when you will get 1.42 into 10 power minus 3. And the result number equal to, from the definition of standard number, standard number equal to result number by Prandtl number Reynolds number. So, Nusselt number equal to standard number into Prandtl number into Reynolds number, which is 1.42 to 10 power minus 3, Prandtl number equal to 0 0.692 and Reynolds number equal to 2.84 to 10 power 5. So, the Nusselt number equal to 279.06. So, Nusselt number is given by HL by K. So, the heat transfer coefficient H equal to 2706, 279.06 into K by L, which is 279.06 into K equal to 0 0.0347 divided by L equal to 1, which is 9.68 watts per meter square Kelvin. So, the answer to the problem is heat transfer coefficient is 9.68 watts per meter square Kelvin. We take one more example. Atmospheric air is flowing through a duct of 1 meter diameter with a velocity of 4 meters per second. Determine the condition of the flow if the kinematic viscosity of the fluid is 20 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. So, the given data diameter equal to 1 meter, the mean velocity is 4 meters per second and kinematic viscosity is 20 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second. So, the Reynolds number for the flow, it is internal flow. So, Reynolds number equal to UEM D divided by nu. So, 4 into 1 divided by 20 into 10 power minus 6, which is 2 into 10 power 5. So, for internal flow, the Reynolds number is more than 2300. So, the flow is turbulent. So, uh, for internal flow, the condition is Reynolds number should be less than 2300 uh, for laminar flow. If it is greater than 2300, the flow is turbulent. So, the answer to the question is Reynolds number is greater than 2300. So, the flow is turbulent. And these are all the books I referred for preparing the slides. You can refer to it for uh, additional uh, information. And I have published a book on the subject. You can reach to it for additional problem or the theoretical concept. And if you have any queries, you can write to me to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer. So, thank you. We will meet again.